Right, I've got this uh, circuit hooked up now. Uh, it's a couple of fresh batteries there. And I've got it hooked up so uh, it charges uh, through that little resistor into a 5.5 volt 0.22 farad capacitor. And we're going to see how long it takes to charge up to about 5 volts. And then uh, discharge it and see how long it takes to discharge it then. So uh, if I uh, start the experiment now, we've got uh, 0.187 volts across the capacitor at the moment. And if I hook that up and hit start, you can see it's nice and bright that is. And five seconds in, we're instantly up to 2.4 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check in uh, in about two minutes and keep doing that. Right, so we've just come to two minutes into it now and we've got 4.06 7 volts across the capacitor and it's still steadily climbing. So I'll check back in again at uh, 3 minutes. Right, so we've come to 3 minutes into it now and we've got 4.4 volts across the capacitor, still climbing. And then we'll check back in again at uh, 4 minutes. So we're coming up to uh, 4 minutes into it now and we've got 4.6 volts across the capacitor so I'll chip back in again at uh, 5 minutes now right, we're coming up to uh, 5 minutes so at the 5 minute mark we've got 4.74 uh, volts across the capacitor so I'm going to... Uh, looks like it's slowing up the charges I think this is... Uh, the, the top end is where most of the charges on the capacitor so I'm going to check back in again at uh, 7 minutes. We're up to a 7 minute mark now. And we have 4.9 volts across the capacitor. So hopefully that will take about another minute or two. So I'll check back in again when it's at uh, 5 volts. We're at uh, 4.99 volts at the moment. I think we're just going to cross over in a second. I think I'm going to let it go to uh, 10 minutes, no matter what. It's gone over to 5 volts then. And when this gets up to 10 minutes, what I'm going to do is disconnect the circuit. I've done that now. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, hook up the capacitor and see how long it takes to discharge just in uh, normal mode. I'll set that up now. It's the uh, the capacitor's levelled out at 4.92 volts, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook it up through these two resistors and hit go, and that's quite nice and bright. Now uh, you can see that the uh, the voltage has started to drop now. So I'm going to check back in again at a minute. Right, so that's one minute and we have 3.57 when I went over there. And it's still nice and bright when you're on it. So I'm going to check back in again in a minute. So uh, two minutes into it now. And we've still got a nice bright light and the voltage is on 3.02 and it's into it still got a bright uh, LED and we're at 2.59 when we was on it alright coming up to uh, 4 minutes into it now and we've got 2.23 volts across it in there and well, that's just five minutes into it now and we have 1.91 volts it's into it now and we've got 1.64 volts and it's very much dimmer now I'm going to 
check back in again in another minute. Minutes into it now, and the voltage is 1.42, and it's quite dim now. I'm assuming that uh, the when the voltage gets down to either 0.7 or 0.3, uh, the LED will go out completely. Up to uh, eight minutes now, and we have 1.23 volts. It's very dim now. Don't know if it's going to go out in a second. It seems to still be lit, but only just. Barely see it's only just lit now, and that's at the 8 minute 42 mark and it's just gone out but the uh, circuit's still drawing power so I'm going to uh, stop the test there well, this is quite interesting because uh, we was using these batteries to uh, uh, charge it up and I think we were recovering some of the power back off that and then was able to reuse it now, uh, that's what my uh, switching circuit here is for. Hopefully we can push the power from one to the other and get the uh, LED to light longer than it would normally. That's great then. Thanks for watching.